Okay, so I've got a, a white 2006, late 2006 iMac. It was running really slow, 250 gig hard drive. Uh, I was running out of room. I saw some videos that said, oh, you can go to a, a solid state drive. So I picked up a Samsung Evo 500 gig and uh, decided to change it out. And I went on the internet and there's plenty of things that tell you how to get the case off and how to get into the case. but my model didn't match the rest of them, so I'm going to talk a little bit about what I did to help out. Uh, to begin with, we have uh, the bezel that comes off the front of this. And so the, the problem with the bezel is when you push the credit cards in from the back side, you just have a real tough time pushing on that lever right there. And you push it that way, it unhooks. And usually what they do is they say get your credit card and push it in from the back but I'm not sure how to make make sure that you hit that thing and I wound up putting a little bit of extra duct tape on mine to get that thing to, to hit and uh, they say double up the credit cards various things but anyway that that's the idea in order to get those things loose you've got to hit that little spot right there with the credit card and push it that way and uh, it was just a little tricky, but then the second thing was uh, you take these things loose. Uh, mine came right off of the board. There's a connector right there and then a connector right here. Some of them have two connectors in that cable, but mine came off of the board. Okay, so then we get inside, and most of the other places, they were changing it out of this area. And uh, mine happened to be over here. And so the first thing I noticed, that there's a lot of discussion about these temperature things, that used to be glued on down here, and I took it off before I decided to make a video. But the way I got it off was I pulled these two screws, pulled it up and out, I used the spudger, which that's what they call a spudger, I think, to get in there and tweak these things out like that rather than pull on the wires because uh, if you pull on the wires you likely you could hurt something and anyway uh, I got my little kit uh, I think at Walmart I'm not sure I live up here in a secluded area and there's not too many places to get stuff like this but it included that and another one and then it included the the holder for all these little bits and it didn't have a T10 so I had to get a different thing for a T10 which is kind of handy, but I got everything I need. And the way I did this, I'm going to take a second and get this drive up and out, and I'll come back. Actually, I'll do it here. I got a little thing for my camera to hold the camera, so get that screw out of there. Get that screw out of there. I already used the spudger to get those two things loose. Then this came up, you kind of had to just lift it straight up. And then as I got it out to about here, I think I flipped it over like that, and it was stuck to the side. And then I used an X-Acto knife, and I kind of pried it out, and I kept the glue with it. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what I'm going to use for glue to put it back on somewhere. But anyway, so then we wind up with this piece. And the first thing that you've got to do is you got to save this. And that's going to go right about there. And then get this one. And that's going to go right about there. So they go onto the new drive like that. And this adapter plate is something from a company called S-A-B-R-E-N-T. I think I got it off of Amazon. I'm not sure, but uh, anyhow, it seems to work really, really good. I took the, the Samsung drive. It's an A50 EVO 
500 gigs. It was 139 bucks or something. And you kind of got a choice to, to mount into these upper slots or these lower slots. I picked the lower slots because I think that these things sit way down low here and I don't want to cramp cables up higher. So I'm going to try it with the lower slots. And it came with a whole pile of screws to, to put this together. So I'll finish that up and get ready to go back in with this thing. Okay, so now I've got the screws all in place. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to turn that upside down, I think. And then I'm going to hook up those cables by flipping them up. See if I can get you a video of that. Okay, those are on, and I flip it over like this, and I'm going to put it in those, put the two little uh, pins into those slots. <coughs> and then I need to put the, the last little bracket on which used to be used to go on here so I'm going to pull this bracket off of here and it's going to go on there okay so I probably should have put this bracket on before I put the thing in but I'm kind of excited about making my first YouTube video here and I got the second one going on here and once we get both of those in tightened up then we come back here and we put the pins in and that falls down like that then we got a couple of screws that got to go here and I think that they're T10s That's in good. Then the last thing is the temperature sensor. And I don't know exactly where I should put it. I don't I don't think you worry about these solid state drives overheating. Uh, I think it's more to sense the temperature coming off of the heat sink and tell this fan over here whether it'll blow harder or softer. Keep the processor cool. So I think I'm gonna glue it right to the side in here and believe it or not it actually still sticks so that's it that's how that all gets mounted uh, I think that the Sabrent tray was really a good thing you gotta change those two pins you gotta change this bracket here plug everything in and then that should be it. It just goes back together and I'll let those other videos on the internet uh, show you that stuff. So that's my first YouTube video. Um, I can see how these videos are tough to make. Uh, maybe a third person taking them would be good, but I uh, hope I got enough in there to help somebody plan a, a hard drive change out. Um, and make it go pretty smoothly so you have the parts ahead of time and uh, I changed out the hard drive in Carol's uh, Lenovo laptop G550 and it was a lot easier than this and it really made that machine smoke it was fast and uh, I'm getting lots of extra benefits because of that faster machine okay that's all for now go find those other videos to help you crack that case and get inside <laughs>